What's happening, everybody? Sorry for the little light. I turned off the, you know, single fan for this video for the moment. Um, episode three. I was trying to explain how you know the Nintendo Wii and how GameCube got you, and how they, you know, not very kid friendly if you just look. Um, I had to get up at like ten o'clock today and go do some running around. Well, while I was doing that. Stopped at GameStop, picked up a few more games um, for my collection of Wii games. I'm going to show them to you right now. We got it's an M rated title, and that would be House of the Dead 2 and 3 Return, and of course um, Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. Both of them rated M, just added them. Uh, they happen to be on sale. Um, they were. Uh, um, they were under ten dollars, um, surprisingly under ten dollars. Both complete, um, both are rated in for mature. I was gonna get another game, but you know GameStop, they don't really clean their CDs. These just happen to look really good, so I kept them. Um, but this keeps up with what I was trying to tell y'all, man. There is a ton of games on this system, this system right here, that complies to adults and is adult theme based and you can play versus kitty games and how wide variety the system is um granted they're both zombie games you know first person shooter zombie arcade game from the sega dreamcast um, as you can tell, Sega, and if you had a Dreamcast, chances are you had House of Dead 2. When I had the Dreamcast, I had House of Dead 2. Um, still love this game. I'm, I got it. Um, it's a good game. I haven't played The Return yet, so I got it. Um, I have this on my, uh, GameCube collection. I have the original, you know, GameCube edition, which came out first. So I went ahead and picked up the Wii edition because, well, um, there's a few things on the back that they kind of talk about that is reborn and might seem like it's kind of new for the Wii edition. So I went ahead and got the Wii edition to add in. And again, they were both under ten dollars. Um, I spent a total of like nineteen and some change. Um, but this adds to the Wii edition of my collection, and they're, again, adult-based games, and one's a shooter, and one's a first-person shooter, arcade-type, both zombie games, well, one's a zombie game, one's supposed to be a zombie game, and it goes with the theme that I was telling you about how Nintendo may not be as kid-friendly as everybody thinks who's a... Sony or a Xbox fanboy that seems to be the basis for fanboyism today is Nintendo is you know um, uh, Nintendo is so kid friendly so family oriented Nintendo is family oriented being that they believe in supporting families and making sure everybody in the family can play and have a good time but they're not just for families, they're for everybody, man. They're made for gamers. Whether you're hardcore or you're casual, they're made for you. They got everything. They don't support just one type of thing. They support everything. So, um, you know, I just wanted to show that off. These are my pickups for the day. They were super cheap. Um, and that's just what I wanted to show off personally. Um, so, that's it. That's all I got for y'all. I'll holler at y'all later, man. Peace. Do